Alright fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday to you guys before we get started Please do me a favor and just obliterate the subscribe button if you haven't already and then gently boop, The notification bell Caress it. You don't want to damage the notification bell and when we're done check out michaelsfishroom.com I'm hoping we're gonna have at least two more weeks where I can ship fish uh, So check it out place your order and hopefully I can ship them when I get back to the United States Anyway, today it's Wednesday, it's Halloween here in Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan, and um, I've said this in a lot of videos when I was here, check out Shibuya Crossing on uh, Google or the internet, and you'll see exactly where I am. It's the busiest pedestrian intersection in the world, uh, one of the busiest train stations here, the busiest train station is two stops that way. Um, but crowded and this particular area for Halloween is going to be spectacular I hope to get some video and maybe some photos as well so what I want to talk about today is asking for help and what prompted this is recently I've been getting a lot of emails for help now I want to help if I can but if you ask me a question that you can simply Google or it's going to take me research to answer I'm not going to be much help I'm lazy I'm telling you that right now I'm really busy and, and I think you'll learn better if you do the research yourself. That said, if you ask me a question, I will do my best to answer it for sure and do my best to answer it quickly. Now, I know that uh, one person sent me an email last week or while I was traveling to identify a pleco and I haven't really had time to look at it yet. But what prompted this, this particular video <clears throat> was a question I got this morning from a, a subscriber. And if you're watching this video, subscriber who asked me this question, I am in by no means picking on you. You asked a couple of questions. They were good questions, but really not questions that are easy to answer. And I'm going to explain why. So here's the, the email. My angels just mates eggs. I have them in a different tank. I'm assuming autocorrect corrected mates to laid eggs. Okay. What do I need to hatch BBS, which is baby brine shrimp, and how much of a water change should I be doing daily? Those are all valid questions. Unfortunately, typing that out, especially on my phone when I got the email, was a little bit is would be a little bit difficult. It takes a lot of time. And there's really not enough information to answer most of those questions properly. So let's start with the easy one. What do I need to hatch BBS? I don't know what you have, so I don't know what you need. So that's a question easily you can look up YouTube, Facebook, not Facebook, sorry, the internet, ask Google, what do I need to hatch BBS or baby brine shrimp? And I bet you get a thousand hits or more, all of them probably decent information. That's definitely a question I would uh, YouTube though as well, uh, because then you could visually see what we need. Stand by. So, I really can't help with that question. Now let's go to the first question, which I, I think is a question. My angels just laid eggs, I have them in a different tank. So that's not actually a question, right? But it's sort of a statement. Are you saying you wanna know if they should be in a different tank? What do you need to do if you pull the eggs? Did you pull the eggs or did you pull the parents? Many, many pieces of information are missing in order to get prop in order for me to properly answer the question. And finally, the last question is, and how much of a water change should I be doing daily? That's a great question. How big is the tank? Is there a filter on it? Um, is there anything else in the tank besides the eggs? Did you add methylene blue? There's so many different things that uh, we need answer it before we can answer that question and again I'm not picking on this particular person they asked questions that were good questions just not great questions to answer via email without more information so my answer was pretty politically correct I hope so many different opinions and techniques it depends on your situation and they responded okay thanks now let's get to the meat and potatoes of asking questions on the interwebs. So let's say you have a friend or you want to email a YouTuber, whether it be me or somebody else, or you go to your local fish store and you want 
to know almost any question we ask you ask about your fish tank the people you ask are going to need to know what size tank it is possibly what your water parameters are not just they're okay but actual numbers for uh, ammonia nitrite nitrate uh, uh, ph i usually ask about hardness because guppies like hard water um the temperature probably helps, the tank mates, the type of filtration, uh, how much and how often you change water, and how much and how often you feed. Those are like, oh, tank inhabitants, if I didn't say that, planted or not planted. Those are like 10 or 12 items, basically to answer almost any question in the fish tank. Let me give you an example. I have a betta and it seems to be very lethargic. Is it okay? If the temperature is too cold, that bed is not going to really be swimming too much. If there's a powerful filter, it's probably tired from the current. If there's ammonia, it's probably not feeling good. If there's nitrite, it's probably not feeling good. If there's nitrate, it's probably not feeling good. See, just that one question, at least four things on my list you're going to need to know. So when you post a question on Facebook, know that not everybody on Facebook is a um, expert, um, especially better people I find. If they have one better, they believe they know everything. I have three bettas in my fish room and I've kept bettas almost continuously for the last five or six years. And I, by, am, am I by no means an expert? I know what it takes to keep a betta alive and it's simple fish keeping 101, clean water, good food, filtration, right? Um, let's, let's take another hypothetic, if you will. I just bought 10 neons and within a short period of time, five of them died. What's wrong? Right? Open-ended question. Where did you get them? Did you quarantine them? What size tank are they in? What are the water parameters? Was the, is it a new tank? How old is the tank? Um, what kind of filtration do you have? What else is in the tank? What's the temperature of the tank? What are the water parameters, right? Those are 10 things I just rambled off without even thinking. There's probably 10 other questions that might need to be asked. Did they die slow? Did they die fast? Did they die one by one? Did one morning you woke up and the five were missing? You know, those are all kinds of things that we need to know when we ask questions. So I know I'm coming across maybe kind of mean, but just trying to keep it real. If you ask a question to somebody, you need certain pieces of information in order to answer them properly. So feel free to email me a question, but know that if you email me a question in order for me to answer it properly, I really need more information. Oh, the other thing, sometimes people say, oh, I have this white fuzzy stuff on my fish. What is it? Is it cotton mouth? It could be. It could be a couple different things. So pictures are worth a thousand words. And, uh, that's a really good actually rule of thumb just in general pictures are worth a thousand words anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video just me kind of rambling on about uh about fishy stuff and uh ask me for help if you want uh michaels fish room at gmail.com i have no problem trying to help you but i do need certain pieces of information for actually my answer to to be good and if it's something you can google google it first right? You may find your answer. Google may confuse you. You may get conflicting answers and conflicting answers aren't always bad. It just means there's more than one way to do things. Stand by. So a good example is what's the best filter? Everybody has an opinion on that. I like sponge filters. They're cheap. They're easy. They don't do a great job of cleaning mechanical uh, waste, but they're great at biological filtration so many different opinions on things and know that when you uh, ask mr google all right fishy folks i so hope you enjoy this don't forget to smash that subscribe button gently boop the notification bell and uh, check out michaelsfishroom.com hope you have a great day and we'll see you later happy halloween everyone fishy folks happy water change wednesday live not live i'm not live this is a video
It's not a live stream. Stand by. Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday to you. Coming from Tokyo, Japan. I'm in Shibuya on Halloween. It's already Halloween here. And um, I didn't really have anything planned for a video until I started getting a bunch of emails from people while I'm in Japan looking for help. Now, I have to say, when we first start, I should have started with sub and standby. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Coming to you from Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan. It is uh, Wednesday afternoon. I'm off today here in Japan, so I went and uh, filmed a pretty cool goldfish shop, which uh, will come out probably next week. And I had some lunch, and I went shopping, and who cares? <coughs> Hi, fishy...